Hey guys, here for another Galaxy Note 3 video, but in this video I want to show you guys the launcher that I've been using on my Note 3, and it's the Smart Launcher. Uh, I already have a hands-on video of the launcher uh, using the HTC One, but I gotta say I was very, very excited to know that it translates very good on the Note 3. Uh, the Note 3 has a 5.7 inch screen, and I actually thought it was not gonna look that good here on the Note 3, but I do love it. I love the way it looks. Uh, Smart Launcher, I've been using it since I discovered it. I uh, love it. I love the simplest simplicity of this launcher. Um, right here, like you know right here, you have, you could have here your favorite uh, apps uh, and every, you know, every apps opens just like normally it would. Um, here, this is this theme that I'm using right here is the BB theme, I think it is. Let me see, go to preference. Let's go to um, themes, and this theme that I'm using is the blueberry theme, which um, looks very, very good. And yes, you could change the way the, the Smart Launcher looks. Like for example, this is the default over here. This is the default over here, but you could, for example, I could go ahead and change it to this one if I want. Uh, this one is called the PSP PS3 theme. If we click right here, it says global theme, icon pack. Let's go ahead and set it up. And there it goes. What I like is that it changes absolutely everything. Like you see right here, uh, it changes the way the icons looks. It changes the way uh, the background looks. It also changes everything. Has a different um, clock as well. And if you go to the to the to the draw where the apps are at, uh, like you see over here, these change as well. Uh, this right here looks just like the PlayStation um, icons on the PlayStation 3. X and B bar. It looks very, very cool. Those that are familiar with PlayStation will simply recognize these. And for those that are new to Smart Launcher, um, this uh, on the draw, you're going to see everything separated by communication. Like you see right here. Um, internet. I have all the internet apps right here. Uh, all the gaming apps. I have it right here. Um, over here, I got every media app. Over here, utility apps and setting apps. Very cool. Of course, from here, I could go ahead to the to the Play Store. Let me get out of here. And um, of course, this is the Pro version. With the Pro version, you get the the ability to put um, widgets here. On the free version, you can't put widgets. And like you see, so far I have a couple um, widgets here, like the calendar app I have right there. Uh, I have the the alarm. These this is stock touch touch with uh, alarms over here. The walking mate app. Uh, this is a dog catcher app uh, widget, and this right here is a. Uh, Appy Gamer widget, which is a very cool widget for for gaming and everything. Uh, from here, I could go ahead and see all the latest news. Like for example, I could tap on that, and it takes me to whatever news uh, I just tapped on. And I really love it. I really love this uh, widget right here. It looks very cool. But um, I gotta say, it looks very cool. I love it. And of course, let me go ahead and change another theme here so you guys can see this other theme. Uh, Xperia Smart, which is very cool too. Let me go ahead and see. This is like uh, Sony Xperia. Go back and look at that. Icons looks very cool. Nice background. Look at the, the clock as well. And over here, everything changed as well. Looks very, very nice, very fancy. And let's go ahead and check, show the other one. Let's go ahead and show the other widget. Uh, the red one looks very cool. Let's go ahead there. There you go. Look at that. That looks very nice. And of course, the sides also changed as well. Uh, this is a very cool um, launcher. And uh, of course, you can also assign... Um, on gestures as well like for example on the on touchwiz if you swipe up you could go to my magazine which is a new feature from from the from the galaxy note 3 but what i did is the with the gestures i just applied it to my two finger gesture going up and it takes me to my magazine feature uh, but of course you can assign any any app that you want with the gestures like you see right here this is my magazine app so and I could go ahead here, here to news, see the latest news. Or I could go ahead and swipe down. And I have for down gesture, I have the Google Now. I have 
Nope, sorry, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't want to ask nothing. But um, the great thing right here is that uh, for touch wheels, you have to touch and hold, then touch right here, and it takes you to Google Now. Uh, I like the gesture a lot better because it takes you right to Google Now with two fingers down. I just swipe two fingers down, and boom, it takes me there. But like I said, you could customize that. If you go here to Preference, you could go here to Gestures, and you could assign gestures for one finger. Or you could uh, sign gestures for two fingers. Like for example, if I want to change my magazine, let me go ahead and change it to other. And instead of um, my magazine, let's say I want to get, uh, let's see, okay, the, the the my fantasy app, fantasy football app. If I go like this, it should launch my fantasy football app. Awesome, like you see right there, very cool. And down again, and it takes me to Google Now. And that's it. Um, also, another thing that I was afraid of is that since this is a Galaxy Note phone, I thought that the, uh, the features for the S Pen was tied to TouchWiz, but it's not. So now when you take off the pen, like you see, automatically you have the air commands here as well. So if I tap right here, you still got the option to screen write or, or any other function from, from that um, air command. Like so here, I could go ahead and keep writing here. <laughs> yeah, boobies over here. Yep, <laughs> there you go. And save it. <laughs> like you see right there, it saves it to my gallery. Look at this, wow, launcher looks very cool too, this theme. And over here, this is the Metro, Metro theme. And look at that, that looks very nice as well. And that's it, just wanted to share this so you guys can see that the Galaxy Note 2, 3, looks very good with the smart launcher. Till next time guys.